Uh, good afternoon, it's Roger Gilbert, Milling and Grain Magazine, and this is the last day of Indo Livestock here in Jakarta, Indonesia. And I'm in the presence of uh, Dr. Decento Dibudi and Tomo, and he's the Vice President of uh, Sharon Popand here in Indonesia, CP as it's commonly known. And I have the great pleasure of asking him how the industry is developing here in Indonesia, the feed industry. Yes, thank you, Rajat. The feed industry is really depending on the poultry industry in this country because over the 90% of the feed produced within the feed millers are for chicken. So chicken is being the dominating the major source of animal protein for Indonesian, of contributing about 60, 65% of the total of animal protein. So, so far we are developing the growth of the animal production is about six to eight percent per year compared with five years ago it was even bigger we were growing about 10 to 12 percent every year but for the last three years we were growing only about six to eight percent uh, do you think doctor that that's enough growth to meet the demand of uh, the population of indonesia i think so because the if we are talking about poultry production indeed it's already meeting the demand but if we are talking about the red meat like beef for, for instance we are still depending on the import but not for the poultry production poultry meat and poultry egg we are already self-sufficient enough and the growth still keep growing up and we are expecting to grow even bigger for the next coming years but you mentioned that uh, earlier on that uh, per capita consumption is a little bit less than some other countries. Is that a, an issue that the industry should try to address? Yes, because of we are still left behind compared with Asian countries. It means that the, the chance or the the space to grow up even much bigger. Because, like as I mentioned, that poultry consumption in Indonesia is about 12 kilo per capita per annum compared to Malaysia, our neighbour close to us is already 40 kilo per capita per annum so it means even we are doubling the consumption we are still left behind compared so it means the future is huge over here we have to consider that we have 260 million people we have to be fed and we are contributing 65 percent of the animal protein source coming from the poultry uh, do you see the answer to increase production poultry production uh, more feed mills or more production from existing mills more feed mill in combined with the existing also doing the expansion because we are having some newcomer coming from Malaysia, from Korea and even from China. China is very aggressive. They are aggressive within the five years like New Hope already having, they will be building about eight feet, not eight, sorry, three and becoming five feed mill within, within six years. So they are so aggressive. And we have to consider that once the feed mill already established in some, somewhere, they have to be sustained. It means yes. there is no one building factory for fun or for making short story. Once they build the factory, this is forever. So it means even the international producer is still looking at Indonesia as the big market for it. And uh, I hear there's a new policy in Indonesia concerning raw materials. Uh, can you explain what impact that might, what it is, and what impact that might have on the industry? Yeah, especially for those raw material that can be produced within the country like corn. So the government of Indonesia, starting almost two years ago, start stop uh, banning the importation like corn. So we were trying to accommodate the expectation of the government by still keep using the local corn, unless sorry not, uh, except for the price because becoming having no importation from overseas it means only we are really depending on the local corn the local corn jump quite a lot the high level of price of local corn sometimes force the nutritionist to to find out other thing that can be replaced or substitute corn and we are some of them start using other source of raw material such as uh, wheat and wheat by product but in in this coming future even the wheat will be limiting the supply because wheat also imported from overseas so we are not supposed also to have wheat 
to replace the second or in other words the government or the local people keeps keeping a pressure for the feed miller to keep using the local corn so there is a, a trend to to utilize corn local corn in the past for the chicken feed we are having 50 percent but last last year we were in effort only using about 33 35 percent of of corn in the in the chicken diet and this first semester it seems like the use of local corn becoming increased becoming about 40 percent of the total of the ration but we are still keep moving it really depending on the price of the local corn if the price of the local corn is normal about four dozen or less so the usage of the corn will be even higher than 40 percent in other words if the local corn is price keep high the nutrition will be using slightly less in order to keep the price of the price of the feed will be still remain not jumping and as a feed miller is there enough raw material available locally yes indeed we do have some ref, some supplement to substitute the corn like we we do have palm kernel meal we do have rice bran cassava and others but we we are not thinking that this will be enough to fulfill or to fulfill the lack of the raw material contributing for the energy level but for the protein we are really depending on the importation 100 percent of soya bean meal so we are using in our ration about 20 to 25 percent of soya bean meal as the source of protein and finally doctor uh, the, this afternoon we had the visit of the president of indonesia to the show uh, did you have the opportunity to uh, talk to him at all or we did we did especially we are providing as the charun program indonesia has been already organized what we call it the mcd mobile corn dryer we are broadly present this mobile corn dryer to anticipate the problem in the level of the corn corn farmer in the local because now since the government keep pushing the production of the local corn and they are planting the new area which is a new area are not as the center for the feed mill.